Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Is your Fire Stick not running as fast as it did when you first got it? I've got a solution for you on today's video. Let's get right to it. All right, so what makes the Amazon Fire Stick run slower the longer you have it? They should teach this to you guys. It should be in some sort of a pamphlet when you get the Amazon Fire Stick, but nobody tells you anywhere, and I'm gonna share it with you right now. It's because apps do not close automatically when you're done using them. So say I'm using Prime Video, and then I go to Vudu, and then I go to Sterling, and then I'm watching Peacock. All of those apps are running in the background. A lot of people don't realize that, but they are. And just like a regular computer, if you have too many things running in the background, it will slow it down, and that's what happens here. All right, I'm gonna show you now the manual way to make sure that your apps are closed in the background. If you can remember which apps you used, this is a great method to do it if you do it one by one. It's very simple, you just go to the top, head all the way over to settings right here, and then you're gonna go down to applications, and then you're gonna go ahead and click that and go down to manage installed applications right here. Now if you click manage installed applications, you'll be able to see all of your apps right here. And all you need to do is say I wanna close this one right here. Let's just say I wanna close Cobra. So I'll click on that and I will say force stop. That's all you have to do. And then you go back and you can go to another one, say Disney Plus, and then again, force stop. And you can do them manually that way. Now that's the way you do it as you go along. Well, I'm going to show you a shortcut way right now to not only close all of your apps, but also show you what's running in the background. I keep my apps closed in the background, so I won't have very many, but I have a little challenge for you. I want you to run this program on your Fire Stick, and I want you to comment down below in the comment section how many apps you had running. I'm just curious because last time I did a video like this last year, I, one person had 103 apps and they actually quit using their Fire Stick. Once they cleared all those, it was like a brand new Fire Stick. So I want you to run this program. It's called Background Apps and Processes. And how do you get it? It's actually in the Amazon App Store and you can actually use it on tablets, phones, all kinds of things, computers, any Android device can use this app. So it's kind of a cool app to have on all of your devices. But how do you get it? All you need to do is go to the top, go up to the search right here. Now you do have to have your Amazon account linked to your Fire Stick. Why? Because it's in the Amazon App Store. If, if you try to do it this way and it's not working, you need to link your Amazon App Store to your Fire Stick. I have other videos on how to do that. So all you need to do is just go to Background Apps, And if you just type in the first few letters, you'll see it right here. So this is the one you want, background apps and process list. If you click that right there, it'll look just like this. Now this is a developer tool and it is a great tool to have on your Fire Stick. Doesn't take up much space, but it is a good, good tool to see maybe what you have running in the background and close everything at once, especially if you run a lot of different apps. So let's go ahead and download it. Just click it, do the download, accept permissions, and it'll look just like this. So there you go, I have no apps open. I close all my apps every time I'm done with them, but you might have a bunch here. So let me just open a few and I'll show you what it looks like and how to close them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the YouTube app and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it down and then I'm gonna open up background apps and processes and you'll see how it shows up in there and then I'll show you how you can close it down. Just as a reminder, if you are new to the Fire Stick, you may not know this, just by powering down your Fire Stick does not close those background apps. So as soon as you turn it back on, they're all gonna be running in the background and that's why it seems to run slower over time because they're not being closed. So let me go ahead and open up this real quick and then I'll open up the background apps and processes app and I'll show you how to close them. All right, opened up YouTube. Now I'll go ahead and go home and I will open up the background apps and processes app which we've downloaded right here. Go ahead and open that up and you'll see now the YouTube app is open. So let's go ahead and close it. Let's say you had a whole bunch on here. You can all do it in the same place. Go up to the top here to close apps, click on that, and it will take you to the page that I showed you earlier in the video. And all you need to do is go down and say force stop just like that. When you're done with one, hit the back button on your remote, this little back button. It will take you to the next app and you'll continue to do that through all your apps. Really easy, really quick. Now when I go back, I don't have anything left. I've closed everything. So this is a very convenient app to have because you'll be able to see what you are running in the background and you'll be amazed at the difference on your Fire Stick. Just a quick video. I know a lot of my subscribers already know about this app, but if you're new to my channel, 
this might be something you didn't know. Hopefully it helps you out. If you did like this video, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we do videos just like this on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. I just wanna give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're gonna love. Thanks again for watching our video. 